What's going on, everybody? Welcome to McBlam Racing. I'm Mikey McBlam, the voice you hear inside your head every time you watch one of my videos. And now we're here to talk to you face to face about 2023 and going forward. So what can you expect in 2023 going forward? Well, first, we got to talk about the main series, and that's NASCAR Heat 4. So what we're going to do with NASCAR Heat 4 is we're going to have a uh, have this series come out in a short capacity. And what I mean is we're not going to be recording every single race. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm finally making it to the Cup Series in this game four years later. I know, right? Um, that's just the little quirk that I got on the channel every weekend following the actual NASCAR Series IRL. So it takes me longer to get through career modes than every normal person does but we're going to be taking more of a knee pit gaming style approach so what knee pit does is he takes the crown jewel events you know your daytona 500 your coke 600 uh, the southern 500 the bristol races and stuff like that he takes those he posts those and he kind of like leaves other kind of races that you know people typically wouldn't tune into on a on a regular basis like some random vegas race or something like that probably you know pocono uh the road courses which are obviously broken in the game anyway so um he doesn't really tend to post those so i'm kind of going to be taking a similar approach to that and there's really a few reasons for this like the main one is that to be honest nascar games are getting kind of old the qualities of these games have just been going downhill like for the past 15 years or so and while there is a little bit of a sparkle here and there it's it's really just starting to at least for me it's just starting to wear on me to the point where it's like these games just aren't fun to play anymore and yeah i know it's cool we make our own fun with it we create our own drivers and uh we we come up with our own point stand uh points uh points format and all that but the issue comes in where it's just like this <laughs> to be honest it takes a lot of time you might be thinking like well why don't you just uh, abide by the rules of the game well i be i've made it clear several times that i do not care for a playoff system in auto racing i don't think playoffs have any any playoffs of any kind do not have any place in motorsports it's silly but this is why i created my own format but given things that have gone on last year and time crunches it's just it's not realistic for me to to keep up with over an extended amount of time especially now that spoiler alert i'm actually doing three series in the game so it's just going to take a little bit too much time. So I'm going to be backing off a little bit. You will still see the majority of the Cup Series races because that's my main career mode. But the other two series are just going to kind of just kind of be there, you know, with a race sprinkled in here or there. So with that being said, I can honestly say that you're probably not going to see any more full length seasons here on this particular channel, at least not for a good long while. That is including the Fantasy Cup. If it returns, it's more than likely going to be a maximum of 20 races, provided we can never get a game good enough to play online that's not a broken mess. So it's a disappointing reality, but I'm not saying that I'm going to be abandoning NASCAR games altogether. That That's far from the case. So NASCAR games are really going to kind of be reduced to one-off quick race type events. You know, we're going to be revisiting some older games, uh, some games from back in 2099, maybe even before then, if we can find some, there's uh, mods all over in the uh, in the community. So there's plenty of content out there to, to jump to. It's just, I'm not really willing to do a season on it. I'm actually open to requests. So if you got a request, go ahead and make one. But just because you make it doesn't mean I'll do it. I'll think about it. And I am going to be exploring other games other than NASCAR. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not doing iRacing. I think I missed the iRacing boat, which is back in like 2013, 2012 type era, where I actually did sort of have the funds to fund an iRacing career. But now the environment's not what it used to be. It's filled with a bunch of knuckleheads, oversaturated with a bunch of knuckleheads. You got to fight through those knuckleheads to, to actually have some decent races. And, you know, it it can be more of a time crunch than it needs to be, more of a headache than it needs to be. And let's not forget some of the shady stuff that goes on from iRacing that I really just don't support. So I'm just going to avoid that one altogether. So no iRacing on the channel. There's other sims out there, and honestly, I've been venturing into a set of Corsa quite a bit, so maybe that's something I'll post on the channel. There's other stuff that I've been doing in the background, like Gran Turismo, uh, trying to get Wreckfest working on the PS4, which is 
interesting, but it's it's not as responsive as I'd like it to be on a racing wheel, but it's still pretty decent. So if I can get that working pretty well, I might throw that in there. Um, there's also NR2003, which doesn't just feature NASCAR uh, cars anymore. Like there's thousands upon thousands of mods out there where it has different types of cars, different types of tracks. So, I mean, that's other stuff that I can jump into. So, and if you have any requests for other types of racing games, I'm actually more open to this than I'm actually open to uh, other NASCAR games. So if you got some requests, please post them. And as far as other content, yes, I'm still going to be doing my hype videos here and there, which I still find to be a lot of fun. So you'll be, be on the lookout for those. Um, I'm also going to be doing some more commentary and review videos. I haven't done a lot of that on this channel, but uh, there seems to be quite, uh, quite, a big of, quite a big demand for it. And what I mean by that is there are plenty of commentary channels out there. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of these issues, especially when it comes to NASCAR and NASCAR games, or, or even NASCAR IRL, um, like these videos are really condensed to like, you know, 15, 20 minutes. You know, they're nice little bite sized videos. The thing is, like, NASCAR as a whole, gaming, real life, whatever, has way more than bite sized problems. And it takes a lot more than 20 minutes to delve into every single one. I've been guilty of doing that kind of stuff in the past, and I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm really going to be kind of revisiting some of my older content and, you know, providing more context and um, elaborating on my points uh, a whole lot better. But also going to be looking at older games, reviewing those, seeing what could be taken from these older games and apply to a potential newer game. Because let's be real, like we're all hungry for something. We're all hungry for that, you know, that that oval stock car racing, even if it isn't NASCAR. We need something that's not iRacing. Just 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 being real here. And before you suggest R Factor 2 or any of those other oval games, those games are very, very broken. Even the oval racing in Gran Turismo is trash. So yeah, <laughs> nobody, nobody has really ever done a solid oval racing game outside of, of, of possibly, potentially some games from EA Sports and realistically SRX with the super late models. So I would really like to dive into some of that and really analyze what works, what doesn't work, and how this can be applied going forward because we're all hungry for that new game. We are really hungry for some something new that we can hope for. And maybe once we get that, I can actually do a full season and actually enjoy it. But, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. The co-commentary uh, live streams with John are still going to be a thing. We're still going to be doing NASCAR Heat 5, trying to win him a championship in that Cup Series. So uh, we're going to be jumping back into that here pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to that. I know he's looking forward to that. We haven't hung out in a while. So, and I'm, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well. I um, hope you guys are looking forward to the new content, the new strategy of the channel, where the channel is going like direction-wise. Again, not getting rid of NASCAR. NASCAR is still going to be a thing. We're still going to do our own, make our own fun with it. Um, we're just going to be a little bit more strategic and uh, we're kind of stepping away from the long seasons, at least until we get, honestly, we get a game of merit where we can actually play it out and have a good time with it. Also, want to give a shout out to all of you, all three, all 299 of you, I should say. Um, we're almost at 300, almost at that 300 threshold. And the reason why 300 is so important is because I can make a transition over to Odyssey uh, a lot better. I'm not leaving YouTube. Don't, 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 don't get worried just yet. I'm not leaving YouTube. But with the with the way YouTube has been doing things and you know, with their algorithm and their uh, censoring and other stuff going on in the background that's really shady. It's really time to start exploring other uh, other platforms. So I'm looking into Odyssey and obviously got videos going up on Rumble. So if you're a member of any of those platforms, be sure to follow. Help us get the 300 subscribers because that makes that transition a whole lot easier. I don't have to re-upload every video and because that that's just going to be a pain in the butt. But once again, I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel for as long as you have. Hopefully you continue to support it. Hopefully you continue to have fun on this channel because that's what we're all about. Having entertainment, influencing culture, having fun, having a good time, and hoping for a better future. So without further ado, thank you for watching. Let's jump into the 2023 season.